Now I'd like to demonstrate another example of uh, buoyancy in Archimedes' principle. Here I have a bottle full of water. It's capped off at the top, so when I squeeze on it, I can change the pressure in that bottle. Inside the bottle is a medicine dropper. It has a black top on it, and it's glass uh, further down. It's kind of hard to see that uh, medicine dropper there. But when I squeeze on the water, what it does is it squeezes water and increases the pressure, and water goes up into the medicine dropper. There's a little bit of air in the top part of the medicine dropper. It compresses that air, and the air is more easily compressed than the water. So it compresses that air, and essentially what we're doing is we're increasing mass to the medicine dropper, and therefore increasing the density of the medicine dropper, and if the density of the uh, object floating is greater than the liquid it floats in, then the object will tend to sink. So here we have the object uh, floating slightly above uh, the surface, most of it below, the object being the medicine dropper, which consists of a rubber bulb, a glass tube, and some water and air inside. So the medicine dropper is our float in this case, and if we increase the density of that medicine dropper float by squeezing on the bottle, we can increase the density of the medicine dropper to where it equals the density of the water, in which case it'll float in neutral equilibrium. If we increase the density so it's greater than the density of water by squeezing even more on the bottle, the medicine dropper will drop. And then when we release the pressure, water flows out a little bit of the medicine dropper, the density decreases to where the medicine dropper comes back up to the top surface. Again, illustrating that the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. And for an object to float, it has to have a density equal to or less than the density of the fluid that it's floating in. Now, another example of this is uh, this Galileo thermometer. This works on the principle uh, of uh, variable density as well. But in the case of the medicine dropper, we were changing the density of the medicine dropper, keeping the density of the liquid it's floating in about constant. Here we're going to change the uh, density of the fluid by increasing the temperature. If we increase the temperature of this entire volume where it has a number of objects floating in it, and these objects have a density such that some of them f uh, float at the top and some float at the bottom, and if we were to, uh, uh, some are a little bit heavier than others, or at least have a greater density, I should say. So these up near the top have a little less density. Those near the bottom have a little greater density. And I'm going to assume that when the temperature of this entire thing changes, that the density of each of these floaters here remains constant, but the density of the liquid that they float in is going to change. So if we increase the temperature of this, then those objects that are, floating near the top will find themselves in a fluid with less density as the temperature goes up. The water, as we heat up the water, which we'll do in just a minute, the water will heat up and the density of the water will decrease and that will allow the objects to drop to the bottom. And on the bottom of each, there's a little tag that indicates what the temperature is at which it drops. The one next one ready to go is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The one that's already down at the bottom is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So on this Galileo thermometer, I'm assuming that the temperature of the water in this thermometer, which is in equilibrium with the air, is now somewhere between 70 and 75 degrees. Now what I'd like to do is to warm this up. The, uh, the temperature uh, of this uh, liquid in here right now is somewhere between 70 and 75 degrees. And now I've, uh, I've brought some uh, hot water in here. I'm going to saturate this uh, towel here with, with hot water and then uh, wrap that around this and see if we can increase the temperature. So as we increase the temperature, the density of the fluid in which these objects are floating, the density will decrease, and those objects that are at the top, if they're on the verge of sinking, will then start to sink. 
and it will then register a higher temperature. And now I've been, uh, I've been warming this up here for a couple of minutes and uh, let's see what's happened. Well, we see that uh, some of them have moved down. In particular, the 75 uh, degree indicator has moved down along with the 80 and the, it looks like the 85 is starting to move down. So we see if we increase the temperature, reduce the density of the fluid, the objects will drop further down. And uh, this is called a Galileo thermometer and that uh, gives an indication of the temperature. Works on the principle of buoyancy, where in this case, we're changing the density of the fluid. Over here, we're changing the density of the object that's floating. Buoyancy and Archimedes principle.